This video is about EDB Postgres ARC, a database as a service framework for your IT staff to deploy Postgres databases across multiple cloud providers, including Amazon EC2, private OpenStack clouds, and later this year, Microsoft Azure Infrastructure as a Service. Today, cloud providers all have different ways of providing database as a service. Different infrastructure, different costs, different features, different locations, different support expertise, but all lacking customization and control by your operations staff. By separating the database as a service framework from the underlying cloud infrastructure, EDB Postgres Arc gives IT operations staff the administrative control, flexibility, and agility to fully manage your organization's data architecture in a consistent manner across multiple clouds. Your application developers will still enjoy the speed and ease of use provided by low-cost cloud computing, but operations will be able to track and enforce critical standards and compliance guidelines. Organizational agility is further enhanced with the EDB Postgres Arc API for integrating database as a service into custom DevOps infrastructures and platform as a service technologies. Now let's take a quick tour of EDB Postgres Arc to see how IT operations staff can exert control, flexibility, and agility on their Postgres deployments. EDB Postgres Arc is available in the Amazon Marketplace. After your initial setup, you can use EDB Postgres Arc with PostgreSQL for free. Your only costs will be to Amazon for the EC2 resources you use. After logging in, you immediately land on the EDB Arc dashboard tab where you can start a new Postgres instance. You can also see summary data about your existing running Postgres instances, information from Enterprise DB on software and services notices, and see service status about the current cloud environment that you're connected to, in this case, Amazon AWS. And at the bottom of the screen is access to EDB Arc documentation and tutorials. The Clusters tab is the heart of the EDB Postgres Arc console. I have two running clusters. One has uh, three database instances, a master and two replicas, showing their infrastructure assignments and current health status. It's important to note that these databases are private instances and not shared with any other users. The detail pane shows the cluster definition as specified as startup. Further left are the lifecycle management buttons that give you control over new clusters, scaling up, scaling down, doing manual backups, cloning a cluster for development purposes, upgrading your software, scaling the machine size, getting access to an SSH key for root user terminal access to your running instances. You also have control over all your elasticity for each cluster here. Backup preferences are specified, including continuous archiving and point-in-time recovery, and finally, there are monitoring for performance and an event tab for chronological events on each cluster. The Backups tab catalogs all your automatic and manual database backups according to the grandfathering specifications you selected on the Clusters tab. Recovering a backup is as simple as selecting it in the list and pressing the Recover icon. You can also manually delete backups from here too. The Users tab is for managing a user's identifying information and email address for important event notifications from your running clusters. The DBA tab displays metadata about your database as a service environment. You can view a wide variety of information, including details on running instances, attached storage volumes, backups, defined database engines, statistics on cluster node activity, and other relevant data. The DBA tab is only accessible to users with ARC administrator privileges. The Administrators tab is where you have maximum control and flexibility over your EDB ARC database as a service runtime configurations. Key features of this tab, including managing access to different cloud infrastructures supported by EDB ARC, Server administration allows operations staff to define virtual machine templates to run in each cloud environment. Each VM can be configured for different purposes and preloaded with different software to security and runtime guidelines established by your IT organization. Operation staff can also create a variety of customized database engine templates purpose-built for your development, testing, and production needs using different Postgres versions, configurations, and feature extensions. 
The Administrators tab is also only accessible to users with ARC Administrator privileges. Finally, all the ARC Databases of Service features you've just seen are available to your DevOps team through ARC's APIs. The RESTful API interface makes it possible to provision Postgres from your DevOps automation architecture using scripting tools like Puppet or Chef, using a platform as a service provider like Pivotal's Cloud Foundry, or integrating into an IT service manager like ServiceNow or BMC Remedy. Regardless of your DevOps tooling, ARC allows you to deploy to Amazon EC2, private OpenStack clouds, and later this year to Microsoft's Azure infrastructure as a service. Here is an example of an API call that can be used to start a new cluster. Curl is being used to call the ARC API URL using POST to transmit the instance command along with a security token and the new instance specifications encapsulated as JSON text. That concludes this quick tour of EDD Postgres ARC. Thanks for watching.